Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about uh, creating a simple website uh, using uh, Grav versus uh, Drupal. These days I am actually creating a very simple website. That website will just have uh, around 5 or 10 pages and those 5 or 10 pages will never get changed. There won't be any uh, addition to those pages. Maybe a few more things will change. Apart from that, on that particular uh, site, there will be maybe a blog and that blog will also not be uh, updated regularly. So it's more about uh, a simple website with, of course, some images, some categories, uh, maybe a menu on top and uh, the content will probably not change. So it will be more or less like a static website. Now, while I was uh, starting to think about uh, whether I should be using uh, Drupal 8 for building this website or not, I realized that using Drupal 8 uh, for building a simple website would be an overkill because when you are uh, building a website using Drupal 8, you need to, of course, have a decent hosting. And uh, even to build a simple website, you need to use a couple of modules to uh, do something uh, meaningful and useful. So you can't really live with the Drupal core. You need some modules. And when it comes to using some modules and maybe a theme, you end up using Composer and, of course, using uh, Drush. And that is something that I wanted to avoid. I was thinking to build a simple website, setting up Composer, setting up uh, Drush, and finding uh, a hosting provider that can actually handle Drupal 8 uh, comfortably can be a bit uh, of a challenge. So what I thought that why not use uh, Graph? Because last year, in 2018, I started using uh, Grav. I made, in fact, uh, uh, one or maybe two websites using Grav and I loved it. I think uh, Grav is really cool because uh, although it's a static file generator, but at the same time, it is also a CMS because uh, when you install Grav, you, of course, use your uh, text files to build your site. But at the same time, you also get a backend, and that is really amazing. So what I do, what I did basically with that site that I built using Grav, I of course have that site or the files on my local computer. I update the content using, of course, the Grav backend using my browser. And then when I'm done, I just commit my changes. And the good thing about Grav is that you can actually run a Grav site uh, uh, very easily because you just need to set up your uh, repository and the moment you commit your code to your repository your hosting can actually pick those uh, those changes uh, for you i mean you can set up set up some hooks and uh, your new changes can be uh, easily deployed automatically so you don't need to worry about manually copying the code and uh, also the good thing about uh, static uh, uh, static site generators, static file generators, uh, you can actually run them from your Git repository. So basically, uh, there are some services that will actually look for uh, your, that will actually read your Git repository where you have uh, your, uh, your, your site and it will do the deployment for you because it's very light and uh, there are many providers that can actually host a uh, graph for you on your own custom domain. So this is something that uh, I really wanted to uh, uh, share with all of you that in case you are just building a simple website, a static website, but you also need some kind of a backend. So Grav is really a good option. And definitely if you're thinking about uh, whether you should be using Grav or Drupal, like me, because I come from a Drupal background. I've been uh, developing websites on uh, Drupal for uh, I think 12 years now. I started using Drupal in 2007. I think it has been 12 years and uh, I really love it. And, and there is a very natural tendency 
that I end up using Drupal for simple websites. But now I realize, now, now I think that I think uh, it is probably not a good idea. I should probably use uh, something like Grav or maybe Hugo. If you remember, I uh, also made a couple of videos talking about Hugo, which is also really good. But I prefer Grav because uh, it also comes with a backend. So this is something that I wanted to share in this video and uh, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.